Hello everyone. We're going to start a new series here of me demonstrating some of the instruments that I play in my concerts and in my recordings. We're going to start with this first video with the Afghan Rabab, sometimes called Rubab, R-U-B-A-B, Robab, R-O-B-A-B, R-A-B-A-B, all the same instrument. This is, uh, depending on who you're talking to, it either originates in Afghanistan or came from Persia, or uh, even the Indians think it came from the Sarod, which looks very much like it in India. Uh, it's also got, there's an, also an instrument that looks very much like this, played in some Middle Eastern uh, countries that actually bow it. It doesn't have these resonating strings, which I'll talk about, but they would actually be able to, to bow it with a bow. Jordi Saval, the great uh, um, Gamba viol uh, performer, used, actually plays it that way. That's the only person I've seen that does it. Now this instrument is carved out of mulberry wood, one piece of wood. It usually has goat skin on the top, and that's where the bridge sits. It has tied on frets. This instrument, um, uh, it, it's nylon, uh, at one time they were gut. The strings also, the main playing strings, the three strings, uh, were at one time gut, now they're mostly nylon. And then there's a bunch of resonating strings and, and, and accent strings that are steel. This instrument is a gorgeous instrument. Um, I actually got this from Homi on Sakai, uh, who I used to study with, uh, the Rabab with. And this is one of his personal instruments that he, he told me he had for over 20 years. Um, and really, it, it seems like the reason they uh, he, he gave me this instrument, or sold me this instrument, is because they keep adding more resonating strings on it, and the ones he uses now have more than this one. Uh, but this is a beautiful instrument. And it's got an unusual tuning. The main strings, which is the main ones we'll talk about, are the low string is a C sharp, F sharp in the middle, and B on top. Now normally, when I would listen to Rabab players, I would hear them playing in D, which would be the first fret. And essentially, I thought, well, maybe I got something wrong here, and I was tuning the low string to D. And when I started studying with Homi, I, he said, no, 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 you have that at C sharp. <laughs> And what they'll do is they'll actually have to fret it to play the, in the key that they're in. But actually, I've seen some players now that are playing in the key of F, F sharp, which is the center string. And then that makes this one the pa, if we're using um, uh, Indian terminology. Sa would be the root or the tonic. Pa is the fifth or the sa. sound. Uh, these strings will resonate, but they're also sometimes strummed, and especially the, 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 the uh, high accent strings will be played. Now we're going to actually play this with a little rhythm track that I set up with the looper, and just quickly show you, it'll contain this little goblet drum, clay goblet drum, an udu, which uh, is actually used quite a bit in Middle Eastern music now, Persian music especially, and these little uh, little wood blocks called kartals. These are actually uh, played in Pakistan and in Rajasthan in India, and there you have two, uh, two sets that you play on both hands, kind of like castanets. So here, I'm going to put my headphones on now so I can hear what I'm going to be playing. And we'll bring it in so you'll hear that set of percussion instruments come in. 